Hello, all of you being gloriously wonderful people, and welcome back to Pine Pass, where today uh, I'm going to go look at that bus line that we were just looking at because it services this area, but I don't think it comes over to here. I mean, it has to because of where that stop is, and that used to just be a dead end. So let's just go ahead and bring some stops over here. I think that would be advantageous. And then that loops right there nicely. So we'll just have that not loop back on itself right there. We will add in like one more stop right here by our little miniature downtown. And then we may as well mirror that stop as well. Now let's check this bus line. Um, it should be fine. It's got 16 vehicles for 9.6 kilometers. That stops a little bit full, but I bet that will kind of yeah, I was going to say, I bet that's the one in town, and I bet that'll sort itself out in time um, as the buses unbunch on the new route and the new ones get in service because that did add just a few buses, a, a couple. I'm sure there's like another one. Yeah, there's a couple more coming out, uh, and it looks like there's one or two in front of it. So cool. Uh, you can stop. Awesome. So we, we've done a lot. I kind of want to build over here, but this is going to require major road work and getting this up and over and maybe making a connection over here and all kinds of crazy stuff. Uh, so instead, uh, first things first is I want to redo our um, wastewater. Uh, so I'm gonna pause to do that. We're gonna get rid of this road as well. And then we're gonna come over here into town and get rid of that wastewater processing and then we're going to come back over here and we unlocked the eco advanced inland water treatment plant such a name uh that has 160,000 cubic meters uh the one that we had did 60,000 so these are substantially more and we'll we just delete like six of those so that was like 360,000 so like three of these will do the job of what we had. So I'm gonna bring that in there, there, and not there. And then I wanna see the road needs to be, whoops, I never turned my uh, snap tubes back on. Let's uh, use the industry road, cause why not? So that is 375 there. So if I go 375 more, this is like the mistake I always make and it never works out right, but I'm gonna hope that I get it right this time. I did. Wow. All right. Oh, I can't get another one there because of that curve. That's going to change. Uh, <laughs> we're gonna just fix this real quick. Uh, this is a different road though. This is a four lane. Yeah, we wanna get rid of that, bring this up to here. Then grab that, bring that up to there, and then we're going to have to delete a bit of that to make this work properly. Whoops, didn't mean to do that. I meant to do that instead. And then we're going to bring that out just a skosh. And bring this up a little bit more. I know we were trying to follow the rail line, but oh well, it's fine. Uh, and now I should be able to get a fourth one in there without issue. Yes, lovely jovely. And this gives us a significant upgrade to our wastewater. I bet these need heated or heat, don't they? Let's see. Yes, yes they do. Otherwise the poo freezes. Nobody wants poo sickles. There, cool. And that, yeah, has more than enough sewage treatment for the town for now. Uh, so we're, we're in good shape with that. I'm kind of curious. Are our snow dumps full? No. And the snow plows are in full, in full bloom. I almost said in full bloom. I did say in full bloom, but, uh, anyway, uh, we're going to go over here and, and build, uh, before we do though, I'm almost wondering if I shouldn't, I mean, we follow the train for the most part for this, but it just kind of makes a bunch of weird curves. Surprisingly, a fair amount of traffic is using it. Uh, I, don't, I guess that shouldn't be a surprise because it's doing the exact job I wanted it to do. 
which was let people avoid having to go all the way up here. This should just, wow, that's a lot of traffic going up there. This should just be people who are wanting to come up to Sterling Davies Lumber. Um, we do have people coming down this way and that's fine, but this is seeing a, a nice bit of use. So I think that was definitely a good spend. And man, our budget is all over the place. Um, I think it's the industries. Like, yeah, right now that one's losing money, um, but sometimes they'll make money. And this one's probably, yeah, this one's losing money too. Um, our exports are just being weird, right? Really weird, but whatever. It's, it's fine. So the challenge in front of us now is getting this over there and then up there. Um, mainly because I want to go ahead and plan for when we're going to be building things up in this area. Um, this is what I want. There we go. I want to also take a look at... Oof. This is not as flat as I thought it was. Well, that's all right. We're going to go off of this and just kind of... Hmm. Or do we want to do something a little different? So let's see. This is 25... Or 255.49. Back here is 287. That's 303. What if we kind of split the difference? So... 245. So we basically got 55. So we would want around 27 from that. So that, or from where was that? Here? Yeah, about there. Um, so we'd want to take that to what? About one that's around 270. Like about to that elevation right there there let's see what this does oh, man. it does not nice things doesn't it but i'm gonna see if we can't make it work i'm gonna follow that line roughly very roughly all the way around because i do want to have something up here. I don't know what yet, but it's just such a cool area um, that I, I think it would look nice to have like some taller buildings up here. Maybe some hotels and things and, and some of our sporting venues, not the new ones that just came out, but the winter ones uh, that came out with snowfall way back in the day. So just finish this off real quick. And now, see if we can't do something with this big, massive ridge that we just made and make it look a little more like that up there. Or just a nice, gentle slope. That's fine, too. I am okay with a nice, gentle slope. I don't know that we're going to be able to do much with it. I really don't. I want to be careful on this side. I don't want to lose too much of this ridge. So I want to just like bring it out like this and then slowly work up to the ridge itself like that. Because I like the look of that ridge. Back here, we can bring that down a little more and then same thing here, get this to just connect. Went a little higher. There we go. Cool. That works there. And then let's see what we can do back here. I know we're losing a lot of the land that we just created, but I, I knew that going in that we were going to do that. I just want a flat spot up here. You know, if anything, we can maybe just get, you know, luxury housing, you know, mountaintop estates, something like that. A very exclusive neighborhood. I think, I mean, that gives us a little space. Not a lot, not as much as I was hoping for. I was really hoping that we'd be able to get further back in there. I didn't realize how much of a slope was on that. I mean, I I've never really come up here and looked at it. I've always just kind of looked at it from way over there.
But I think that'll give us a little bit of space that we can work with. Um, however, our next challenge is going to be getting a road up there. Um, if we just go straight down. Oh, I did not finish this edge. Let's finish this edge real quick. Whoop, wrong tool. Finish this edge off. Just smooth that out. There we go. Now, if we just go straight down. Uh, and we can just use any old road to demonstrate this. So if we start here where it's level, go down there to where it's level. This is one heck of a steep road. Um, they exist. Even, you know, in mountainous areas uh, where I used to go snow skiing every year, there was some really steep hills that the vans that we always took to get there... Um, would really chug. Uh, you know, we could do something like that, then that looks weird. You know, maybe we could do a bridge on there, but that's still a 16% grade, um, which is excessive. Um, I, I think the most I ever saw was like a 6 or a 7% warning, and that's just... Yeah, that's rough. So we will have to switch back that. That's not where we're wanting to build today. For now, we'll just get the road over here to this area and worry about where uh, it's going to connect later. So we've I want to cross the river um, where it's straight, straight across. So we're going to just grab one of these, one of these. And we're going to pick a spot fairly arbitrarily. We're going to bring that up 10 so that we get across nicely here. Yep, that's not a bad little bridge. Is that going to clear that train? It just doesn't look. Yep, that's high enough. Okay. And then this just needs to get back down on the ground now. And I almost wonder if there isn't... Some merit in having another connection down here that loops around and ties in so that there's not just one. I don't know. Uh, we're not going to go too far over this direction, I don't think. Yeah, we start getting into some steeper, more challenging terrain as we get closer to this hill. So, yeah, I don't think we're going to do that. Uh, let's get this on the ground. I don't need this view anymore. Thank you. So we'll go out 12, just because that's the longest expanse that vanilla will give us, and I don't really want to mess with slopes right now. And then this, <laughs> that's right, it's just me being lazy. This needs to kind of now start its way back over this way. And this needs to kind of go say hello. Let's see what we can get here. Not really seeing my guidelines, but... If I get closer, it's a problem with the snow map. You know, I'm a little far away, but if I zoom out, what we should be able to see is a blue dot light up on that one when it is lined up. Like, and you can see it kind of appearing and then disappearing. Oh, that did not work. Let's try it from this way. There we go. That will give us what we want. Cool. I, I'm okay with that. Yes, I'm, I'm good with this. Uh, and it would almost behoove us to then have a collector that comes off and goes that way and a collector that comes off and goes that way so that we're not just dumping everything and let treat this more as an arterial. Um, I think that would be a good idea. Even though they're going to be the same road, I still think it's definitely a worthwhile thing to do. So let's go just 10 off each way like that. And that way we can get a roundabout in there if we need to in the future. And then I just want to look at our contours once again. And just kind of roughly bring this collector back in to, you know, somewhere. Doesn't really matter exactly where. I'm going to straighten it out. And that's a good endpoint for that. We may come down here with some local roads, possibly. It is a thing that I will remain open to. And then here, I want this to come in kind of a little more 
sharp than that. Yeah, about, about, actually, this one could probably go straight for a while and come out closer to the shore. Uh, get rid of that just for a second so I can see what I'm doing and then we can go back into there. Cool. And then bring this a little bit more down by the shore down here. And then kind of line it up with that and that's going to probably be about the end of that. So let's get a uh, system of local roads connected off of all this. Um, yeah, it's going to be fun, isn't it? Sure. Let's see what we can come up with. And for the first phase of our development, I came up with a sort of grid. This is all going to be high density. Eyes and sea areas tend to be gridded. Uh, it's, it's, it's an uncomfortable truth. They do. They tend to be gridded. So I feel as though it's warranted, even though everything within me kept screaming, don't do it, grid. Um, but it'll be okay. It'll be all right. So I think we've made it look somewhat interesting. I'm going to try to bring this in following this curve and then hopefully make a connection there. Yeah, there we go. That gets us a little bit more space. Now, the tricky bit, maybe not as tricky as I think, though, because we've already got water pipes there. Yeah, never mind. I was thinking, man, this is going to be a really long run of water pipes, but it's not. I mean, it is, but it's not as bad as it could be. Um... I was thinking we're gonna have to run them all the way down the main highway, but now we just gotta come down this little access road that gets you up to the lumber, timber, Davies, Sterling Davies lumber. Is that what we're calling it? I think that's what we're calling it. Sometimes I forget. I don't know if it really matters if you have that on the ground or, or what, but I'm gonna leave it. So I'm gonna get water pipes in this whole area. And then we'll start doing some zoning and some planning. So one major challenge that we're going to have here is transit. Um, this is the line that I plan on using for passenger. This line that here, there, it goes over here, comes up over here, up into the mountain, and then goes out that way is cargo. And the two don't really meet anywhere. Um, and I think that they probably should, um, cause I think that there would be some very good value in having a rail connection between this area here and this area here, but I'm not hundred percent certain how you would go about bringing that in. Um, we could possibly use this little peninsula here to connect the track up this way and then come across and then follow the highway and then either tunnel it right around here and come up under into this area because this industry is going to move out um, sooner or later. Uh, it will be gone. Um, and then bring it out with a train station back in here or bridge over it. But then we would, you know, be interfering with our nature reserve. And I don't want to do that because, boy, look, it's making it swapping. $40 a week. Um, yeah, I'm just not 100% certain how we would bring that in, though that would get rid of a couple intersections if we cleaned this up and made this just like a little transit hub. Yeah, definitely something to, to think about because as is, it's going to be one heck of a commute. I mean, it... It just is. Uh, this is all high density stuff, however, so we are going to use high density style buildings. Um, get as best coverage as we can here. Um, that gets most of this area covered. I think we can get away with just a clinic back there. So that gets our health care in. And then we're just going to do like a little city services quadrant here. And then I guess we'll do another one right back there because nothing reaches all the way back there. That's that's okay. So these both have 25, so we will bring police there. And then, of course, police there. <laughs> oh, it's funny. Uh, and then we need some post offices. So we will 
just go in those corners like that. Um, I kind of want to swap the post office and the clinic. Go away. And put that there. I just think this will look a little nicer there. So that gets services covered, uh, but we also need education out here. And this is going to be high density, so we're going to need more than one school. Um, so what I think we're going to do is, and I really wish that some of these new community venues that we have for sports were covered. I know that in unique buildings they are, um, somewhat, some of them, and the ones we don't have unlocked. Um, but actually, it's only that one. Everything else is open air, which I know there are open air stadiums in snowy areas, but I would really rather not. Um, and then these are all too big. I thought I had these. I unlocked these. Oh, no, I didn't unlock these. Yeah, this is a different thing. So I'm going to have to do this in a different save because I'm not going to do 5,000 square stairs and specialization anytime soon. And I want an ice fishing pond. That looks cool. So yeah, I'm going to have to do that in in off camera in a different type of save. Um, oh, come on. These are locked too now. Dang it. Oh, I thought I had all of this taken care of. I had to re-unlock everything. I think I mentioned that. So we're gonna have, I'm gonna have to make another snow map. I've got another snow map somewhere. Uh, an old one um, that maybe I can do something with. Um, maybe. I'm just kind of looking through. I would like some something athletic to go with this, but I just don't think I'm gonna really have anything. So I want to do an elementary school on this end, a high school on that end. And we'll need more than that. Don't get me wrong. We will definitely need way more than that. Um, and then in between, I guess for now, you can tell I'm not happy about it. Um, where's the hockey rink here? I guess I'll just give you guys ice hockey by the high school let's uh leave a little bit of space actually let's move you over like that so i want to get a parking lot because i love parking lots i am an american after all um and then uh remember where ice hockey was you know your cross-country skiing it's only you there we go that's a skating rink here here and bring that in right there, and then do a little snowman park uh, right over here by this school. I know that this has playground facilities, but they're snowed over, and the kiddos can't go out there and snow and swing. What's wrong with you? We'll just surround that like that, and then we'll bring path here and just straight over like that in behind that um and that we'll just leave open that'll be fine uh we need death care and child care and elder care out here we need to also maybe click the right buttons to do that uh i want to go with the uh cryo cryo preservatory why can't i speak Speak sometimes it's so annoying um and then we also yeah we definitely need to do the child care and elder care maybe we could sneak this in back here uh but then it gets rid of the path i do like having these close to the elementary school i think it makes sense but then that's just really a lot of wasted opportunity there so instead we're gonna bring these fairly central and try to cover this whole side Oh, that's beautiful. Perfect. We'll do that right there. Cool. That should be all of our services taken care of. So let's double check that we have a high rise band. We do. And let's start thinking about some zoning here. Um, I want to do 
Just a big long line of commercial back here. And then come in behind that with offices. And I think I want to do offices in that whole square. Uh, and then offices down to there. And then I think I want to get rid of zoning along the collector here just to get some bigger uh, uh, tiles and lots. So just in through here for now. Yeah. And that opens up a lot back there as well. Yeah, that works. And then we could do the same like here and open up some bigger lots there and also right there. And maybe, yeah, let's just go ahead and anywhere that this is cutting into the neighborhoods. There we go. That works. Uh, offices, we have no demand for office or industry, which is kind of sad. So it's going to be a while before we see those. But I'm still going to zone them. Because why wouldn't I? And then I want to fill in a little bit more here. But not there. Cool. And then residential. Um, I'm going to stick to this tool. Just so it doesn't overlap. We're going to let them build right up against that. Or all of that. All of that. Actually, wait. I want to make sure I get a path through. And then... All of this, all the way over to here, all the way over to here, and there. <clears throat> we are gonna zone off the collector. I'm fine with it. I don't think it's gonna carry too much traffic, uh, so I think it'll be okay. And then, let me look here and see. I think we could do with some low density commercial. In fact, I'm gonna do a big, big chunk of it right there. And then another little bit right here. And then we're gonna switch back to residential coming up through a lot of this. Yeah, that'll work. And that has sapped our demand. So I'm gonna let this kind of all grow in and then we'll see what our demand looks like after we've got some upgrading done as my chair squeaks and rattles. So we've had the first couple rounds of upgrades beginning um, and there's a few things that we are going to need to consider for out here. Uh, one is going to be garbage collection because obviously we have a bit of a problem. Uh, we do have garbage collection up here somewhere I believe. Yeah I've got one there but that's a really long way for them to go plus they're already covering all of this up here. It's 21 vehicles. Um, so we may need to, you know, just reserve a bit of land somewhere, maybe up by the highway, just to tuck in another one of our uh, waste transfer facilities. And another thing is, I really thought by adding, I mean, we've added a bit of population here. I, I thought that we would start spurring some office demand, but we haven't. Um, we ha do, however, still have really big demand for residential. So we're just going to keep getting the residential out there until, I um, guess, unemployment starts creeping up and then we can get some offices going. So let's do residential in here uh, and get just a lot more zoned. I think I wanna do commercial in this area though. Actually, I'm gonna bump this over and we're just gonna let it have like its own little area here. I think that'll feel nice. But then by the child care center, I think there's some just cause for having a little bit of commercial there. Uh, oh, that is not the residential I wanted. I wanted this residential. We are going density right now. We are going to do some low density in this general area, but not right there. Um, we're going to do it over by the river to the right. So that will get all of that. I'm going to reserve this for offices. We're going to do commercial here and on this side, mainly because we don't have a whole lot of other space for it. And then we're going to also do commercial back in along here. 
and then we'll be able to do a buffer zone with offices if we ever get office demand. Um, that is going to be the big question today, I think, is what that's going to look like. Um, but I want to go ahead and put it in so that I know where the sound buffers are going to be here. If I do all of that as office, I still need to do maybe a little corner here just to take care of that. And then back here, let's see what we got. Uh, maybe a couple more right there just for, again, a good noise barrier. And then we can fill the rest of it residential. And hopefully this will drive some office slash industry demand for us. I don't know for sure that it's going to, though. Um, here's hoping. Uh, let's do some low density commercial all back through there. You know, we could. We could maybe fit a grocery store in here. Where are those? Um, minor parks? No. They're here? Special buildings, maybe? Yeah, can we get like one of these? Oh, it's too big. I was hoping we could get, oh, get it there, though. That might not be a bad place for a grocery store. Produces a lot of noise. We'd have to change our zoning a bit. But I'm okay with that. And that leaves me just enough room to put some parking in it inside. How much noise pollution does it make? Uh, only 15, so it, it's, it'll be fine. It'll be just fine. Um, so I'm going to do that there, and then I want to put this directly across from it. Like that. I'd really like this to be on the corner, though. Oh. And it's it's too it, it's too wide. So I want the sign to be on the corner, but I want the, that to be visible from out here. So maybe we don't do this here. Yeah, never mind. I, I have changed my mind. Uh, I want you know I want the sign to be visible. It's important. It is. Trust me. Uh, so let's get that zoned in then. Get that taken care of. And hopefully now with all this residential, we can get something going for what we actually are hoping to build down here. Just a little more commercial because there is demand for it. Um, I could do stuff here. I really don't want to. Maybe just some smaller ones. That'd be fine. Uh, and then we don't have parks and things up in this area, so land value is definitely going to be a concern. Um, so let's let's look at getting maybe a couple parks in. I'm just going to randomly click buttons. Uh, Ice Sculpture Park could be kind of nice in one of these areas over here where there's some offices that are going to go in. So we will throw that in there, and that will take care of that little corner. Uh, we could do another snowman park over here in the middle of some of our residential. And we could throw in a curling park kind of over here by some of this. That'll also help as a sound buffer. Oh man, garbage. Oof. Um, and then maybe a skating rink by some more commercial, which is I've forgotten where it is, like here. Do a skating rink. I think that'd be nice. And then I'll still let me get that path in there. And then the rest of these are all a little big to, to really do anything with them. I mean, a fire pit park doesn't really make a whole lot of sense right here in the middle of town. I know we've got one elsewhere, but I'm going to do it anyway. Um, and then just one more. I just want like one more little thing a uh, ski lodge obviously not a cross-country skiing park it's do actually it fits but it would look really out of place um yeah and then we don't have these unlocked uh snow castle restaurant how big is that oh it's huge plus i've kind of got my sights set on that for something else well snowboard arena we do have open air 
no assets, so that kind of means we'll be all right to do some more open air stuff. So that's that's good. That is that is very good. Um, so yeah, this residential is all filling in and is not driving one ounce. Our unemployment hasn't budged. Probably because of all the commercial. Yeah, we added a thousand jobs with all that commercial. So maybe we take some of that commercial back out. I mean, that's a good spot for commercial, but like if we cut this, I'll need a little bit of office here. That's sound deadening, but we should be good to add that in as residential. And then let's go ahead. I want high density along these edges, low density down here. I do need to look at my contours so that I make sure that I'm not zoning uh, where it's going to cause too many problems with the terrain. So let's go ahead and zone all of this in with the low density that I wanted down here. And they're going to be pretty tightly packed in. I mean, this is still a fairly urban area. Uh, we can go ahead and do that. And then here we can jump up to there. I think we'll be safe. I don't think I want to touch anything along that bit. And I want to leave these hills alone. So yeah, garbage is definitely going to be a problem out here. Um, so we are going to have to wind up setting this side a little area. What is with all these cars? Are these just the people moving in? Uh, for the most part, yeah. There are some trucks delivering to commercial. Um, which I thought they would be able to like get it from up here. Like have it brought in by train and then drive down. But for some reason, they are bringing it mostly by truck. But most of this will dissipate because the majority of these are people who are going home some are, are shopping but this is where a train it would really help us here like a metro that goes over to a train station that maybe is over here by where we bring that in that could that could work that could definitely work so i'm gonna let this run for a while and see if we get any type of demand after we get all of most of this residential upgraded the land value is high enough that we should get at least up to level three. If not, yeah, there we go. I'm about to say level fours. I don't know that we'll get to the one where it says uh, can't upgrade anymore because of high rise ban. And we don't have any right now that are saying that. But I'm, gonna, I'm just going to let it run and we'll check back in in just a moment. So we're just about to hit our next milestone of 38,000. In fact, there it is. Um, which is the one that I was needing to get to to uh, get stuff that I wanted unlocked. We do still have a couple other milestones to go, but we're not going to use the cargo airport. We may use the glass eye arena, but then this one just gives us monuments and stuff we don't really need. Um, so I'm not really concerned about the next two. 38,000 was where I wanted to get. We are there. Good news is we have started to see some office development not a lot in fact i think it might be just that one <laughs> it is it is no, no there's another one there's another little one right there so the financial news and top banking so awesome good job guys um it's a start it, it, it's definitely a start this is almost like its own city unto itself kind of out here away from pine pass uh so we may formalize that if you think we should leave a comment down below we can just make this a district and make it its own city make it its own unique policies we are going to have to get a train station in um and i think it'll work fine if we have you know because we're going to go to about here developing on this side so if we have like a metro here a metro here a metro here and a metro here that just does a loop and then we can bring like i said bring the train in across this peninsula cross over that way but also have it come in to the train station back here um, and then bring that in over that way. I think that would work beautifully. And then we could probably even get like a road out of this way 
for some of the garbage collection uh, issues that we're having. Uh, and just kind of hide it down the hill or behind this hill or somewhere. We'll, we'll hide it. I don't know where yet. Um, and the cool thing is that I'll also, with the train station back here, not only will it allow us to connect to over here and get that taken care of, but it'll also allow us to connect this big urban area that we've created out here at the edge of town or the edge of the county, I guess. And um, we'll be able to connect it to our big transit hub that we're going to have down here. I'd really like to use that island as a transit hub, but I just don't think it's going to work. By the way, we have districts, um, Garland Square, uh, Barlow District, Elk Hills, any names. Uh, feel free. Uh, Harris Shores is the only one that I'm really sold on that we have to keep. Uh, so Autumn Heights, all of it. Feel free to suggest names. Um, this this is going to, yeah, this garbage problem is going to suck for a while. I think... Yeah, we have garbage trucks coming. There's one. There is one over there. It's just right now there's such a huge influx of traffic to try to get all the uh, commercial stocked and to get all the residents in that are coming over here. Um, like, see, we have garbage trucks coming down here. It's just stuck in traffic at the moment. But that should clear up after this place kind of develops for a while. Hopefully the garbage issue doesn't cause a lot of this to abandon. We're losing a lot of money right now, uh, so we're going to have to investigate that as well. But those are all problems for our future, Brandon. So until next time, I am Brandon reminding you to stay vainglorious.